Vision Corporation is an emerging leader in the sustainable, clean technology and green energy sectors. And with me is Dan Bates, the CEO, to bring us up to date on, on a development. So tell me about this feedstock deal. What is this? Well, thanks for having uh -huh. me, Jane. I appreciate it. Uh, the feedstock deal is a major milestone for our company. As we're developing the plastic conversion network, the ability to convert plastic feedstock into clean fuels, you got to have that feedstock. You got to have that raw material from which you can then make these products. So this announcement that we put out on Monday recently announces that we will be able to secure a million tons a year of plastic feedstock to be delivered to our facility in Agadir, Morocco. That ensures the long-term viability of the company for clean the seas of Morocco. We'll have all the feedstock we need for 20 years. Okay. Okay. So that's what that means for the company? I mean, what does it mean for the bottom line? What will you be able to do? So we set up our lines modularly, 100 tons per line, okay, to, to chew through a million tons a year, we'll need approximately 30 lines of pyrolysis technology. In our estimation, that will generate approximately $360 million a year in revenue. It will require us building two more facilities in addition to the Agadir facility, and we're looking for locations now. Mm -hmm. And for people who haven't seen some of our interviews, just explain a little bit about Clean Vision. What, and what do you do exactly? Sure, so Clean Vision, as you said, is a holding company for sustainable assets. We have two companies in our portfolio, Clean Seas and EcoCell. EcoCell is developing a hydrogen-based fuel cell, so produces clean energy 24-7, with the only byproduct being water vapor. Mm. Super clean. Mm -hmm. The other company is Clean Seas, and we've set up Clean Seas as a holding company to then have subsidiaries below it that we call conversion facilities that address the PCN, the plastic conversion network that we have developed. So we have installations now in India and in Morocco. We have additional installations here in the United States slated for West Virginia, which we recently announced. In, uh, outside of Charleston, West Virginia, Arizona with Arizona State University and the Walton Sustainability Service Center. Uh, in Michigan, we're working on a project in Massachusetts. So we're deploying this thing, not just here in the US, and, and, but globally. In addition to Morocco and India, we're working in Turkey, we're working in France, we're working in India, Sri Lanka, uh, you know, all over. Yeah. It's such a big problem, the plastic waste problem that we have to think about it on a global scale. For sure, yeah. I mean, it ends up everywhere. It starts somewhere and ends up somewhere else. Right. So this is yeah. a global yeah. issue. Who's your intended audience then for this? Ah, <laughs> so of course we wanted to inform our investors mm -hmm. of the milestone that we had achieved because it is truly a major milestone for our company and I think the envy of every other pyrolysis company out there. We're not alone. My intended audience though was really the multinational oil companies. Mm -hmm the buyers or the off takers of our products, they'll be a petrochemical company. Mm. We'll be able to provide them with a clean fuel and every barrel we sell to them is one less barrel they have to pull out of the ground. You brought up West Virginia. So bring us up to date on that project and what do you plan to do there? So West Virginia, we announced in early June. It's a project that we're working on with the state, the state of West Virginia, and they've been really great to work with. Mm. So we got a location picked out. It's in Quincy, West Virginia. It's on 10 acres of land. We've got the building coordinated, if you will. We'll be adding an additional 36,000 square feet to house a couple of new reactors that we'll be putting in. Uh, we're now just putting the finishing touches on the capital stack. Some debt, some uh, equity going into West Virginia, non-dilutive to our shareholders is what my goal is. The state of West Virginia is helping us out through their economic development programs and the incentive packages that we have announced previously. Nice. Yeah. What exactly will happen there? We're going to start with 100 tons of waste plastic processing per day, turning that into a clean fuel, the NAFTA that I talked about. We have a feedstock deal with McValley Limited um, to provide 100 tons a day for the next 10 years to service that facility. That can also be expanded to up to 500 as we grow. So we've got plenty of feedstock, not just from Morocco at the million tons. We've got 
West Virginia settled up as well. Yeah. All right, Dan, thank you so much, and congratulations on the feedstock deal. Thank you. Very exciting mm -hmm. times.